Well, good morning again, campers. It's still the 31st. Now it's 11.14. Um, just coming in my head, but people call about this damp barrier. Damp face, water barrier, moisture barrier. Well, I don't know if I've told you before, but I haven't got a moisture barrier in here. It's a shop-bought van. Um, I've done some more insulation in bits and pieces, but there's definitely no vapour barrier. And uh, just wondering what you think of this. It's minus two outside. It's 26.3 in here. And it's 31% moisture. Which ain't a lot. So I don't know what... Um, I can bloody do this really. Can't see how you can't really see how because of the sun, can you? But um yeah, so I don't think this over here. Is that any better? No, it's no better anyway, is it? Yeah, so um I don't really know what to say. But people call about this moisture barrier. But I know that um these vans are built with holes all on the bottom on the inside. I mean because you see the Mercedes, they their holes block up and they rust. But these Mercedes, I don't think they're gonna they're gonna rust. It's a bloody awkward position to be in, they're gonna rust because they're galvanized. Um Mercedes, do I say Mercedes? Peugeot. Well it's a Peugeot anyway. Peugeot Citra V or bloody safe. So just wondering why people bother with a moisture barrier, because I could see the moisture being oh my god. My Christmas trees fell over. I could see the moisture being trapped outside of the moisture barrier, which would keep the moisture between the barrier and the outside of the van. So obviously not coming inside the van. And then any moisture inside the van just soak it into the fittings, wouldn't it? I mean, I don't, I don't know. I, I, you know my, I, it's a genuine question, I don't know. But people make such a fuss of this moisture barrier. But, like I said, there isn't one in here, and you can't argue with that. That's 20, that says 26 degrees now, and it's 31% moisture. And I think in a normal house, they reckon it's 60%, don't they? I know on my narrow boat, it was always 100% moisture inside, well, during the winter. But then again, you are floating on water and you are in a steel can, aren't you? But anyway, something to think about, isn't it? So I like your opinions, if you want to, you know, let me know what you think. Be interested. Anyway, we're up over 700 subscribers now. So we've only got about another 250 to go and we should be able to go live. So if you want to subscribe, that'd be nice. If you don't, well, that'd be nice as well, makes no difference. Um, just quite like the idea of talking to you people face to face, if that makes sense, you know. Questions are questions. I might actually go on to Facebook this morning, and because I can go live on there. But I'm not messing about with loading different things up. If I can't go on um, YouTube, like genuinely on YouTube, then I don't want to do a live really. But yeah, so if you put some likes down, that'd be nice. Put some dislikes down, you know. It's a couple of you that do that every day, as a matter of fact. But it'll, apparently it all helps with the algorithms, whatever the fuck they call it. But yeah, anyway, you're just still thinking about this moisture thing. I mean, it's dry as a fucking bone in here. I mean, even sometimes it gets that dry and it makes me bloody cough. Because my throat gets dry. But, um, yeah. Anyway, so if you're going to sell them the, all the, well, I'm saying... I don't know if you can see that, but can you see the lines of frost? The sun is obviously coming that way. You can still see the frost on the grass, but there you can see the lines of the shadows. And you can see the frost in the shadows. So it's still bloody cold up here. I just heard some woman go by there and... I think she said it was bloody minus four or something. Anyway, that's by the boy, so I'll let you all get on and I'll speak to you all later. Remember, stay classy, no fighting.
Happy New Year and bye-bye. Don't forget to leave your comments below.